Well, good afternoon, everyone. How is everyone today? Good, I hope. Well, I'm making a nice, easy Samoya Funt Cake. Just like them Girl Scout cookies used to get the Samoya cookies, I thought, since I had plenty of coconut and quite a few different cake mixes, I thought that's what we'd make. Now, it normally calls for a white cake mix, but I had yellow, and I'm using up what I have here, okay? And I just followed directions on the back of the box using three eggs, a cup of water, and half a cup of vegetable oil, okay? Preheat your oven to 350, and you're going to use a bunt pan, okay? And after you follow the directions of making your cake, you're going to take a third cup of caramel sauce and fold it into the cake batter, okay? And then just dump it all right into your bunt pan that you've sprayed really good. And then put it in your 350 oven for 40 minutes. You can always check it with a toothpick, a knife, whatever you got. But that should be done, okay? Then you're going to let it just set in the pan for a good 10-15 minutes till it starts feeling cool. Then you're going to take a knife and gently go around the edge and and then around the center hole, nice and easy. And then you're gonna invert, flip it over, and set it on a cooling rack till it cools. And this is nice and cool. And I just put it on a plate so it can catch all my other stuff that we put on it, okay? So you're gonna need, all together, four cups of sweetened shredded coconut. And you can either toast that in the oven on 325 for like 10 minutes or however golden you like your coconut and this is four cups and I did mine just in a frying pan on the stove no butter no nothing okay do it on like a medium low heat and it takes about 10 minutes okay to get it this toasted all right then I spread it out onto a, a baking sheet so it can cool all right so that's nice and cool all set to go and in total you're gonna need a cup of caramel sauce Remember, a third of it we've already folded into the cake batter. All right, so you're going to take the rest, three-fourths cups, because three-fourths, and then the one-fourth you fold in the batter makes one cup, so you need one cup of caramel sauce. All right, so keep the three-fourths caramel sauce off to the side. And I used, I have a large 24-ounce bag of Nestle's Toll House chocolate chips. It's 24 ounces, and that makes a good three full cups, okay? So you're gonna use two thirds of a bag of that, a good two cups, all right? And two cups of heavy cream. Dump your chocolate, two cups of chocolate chips in a bowl, and you wanna heat up your heavy cream, the two cups of heavy cream in a little pan on the stove. Don't let it boil or anything, just a nice simmer, okay? And I'm gonna get that enough. You're going to bring your heavy cream over and you're going to dump it into your chocolate chips because you're making a ganache, okay? And then you're going to whisk that up really good and then you're going to let it just sit for five minutes and that's what it's going to look like, okay? Now the next step is, it's really simple. Just take your ganache and just pour it right over your cake. You can either do it by the bowl or spoon, however you'd like, just like that. and take out um, a third cup of the ganache because you want to use that at the very end, all right? But use all the rest of it. I know it's a lot of chocolate. That's why I use the plate to set it on because after we pour this ganache all over it, we're gonna put the coconut on top and on the sides of it. And then when that sets, it's gonna be, oh, really, really yummy. All right. All right, that's that. Now let's take four cups of toasted coconut that's cooled, and you're gonna just sprinkle it right over it, just like that. Cover it all up really, really good. Make sure you do the sides. Just pat it right on. Press and pat it right on. 
I think I should have gotten a bigger plate. But anyway, just pat that on real nice. Cover it all up. And when that sets, oh my goodness, it's going to be so yummy. Just pat it right on there. I'm just going fast, but you get the gist of it. You can use a larger plate, though, if that, that's how you want to do it. Pat that around real good. And afterwards, I'll just move this. Let me just wash my hands. Um, I'll just move that onto a large tray. That way I can put the rest of that little bit of coconut and stuff on it. All right, now you're gonna take your caramel and you want it slightly warmed up, okay? So you're just gonna drizzle that all over on it. And this is my homemade caramel sauce that I make. You can use the jarred caramel your homemade, whatever you like. And I have a video already on how I made my homemade caramel sauce that I canned in the little four ounce jars. Okay. You can tell this is gonna be good. And then take your leftover third cup of the chocolate and just put that around on it. Now when that sets, oh my goodness, it's going to be good. Now, I mean, I could have made my own cake mix, a white cake mix, but I had a yellow box, so I thought I'd use that up. But what I did also do uh, to the cake batter, I did throw in one teaspoon of vanilla extract in it also. And then at the end, I fold it in. When the batter was done, I fold it in a third cup of my caramel sauce. But anyway, um, this is it. Like I said, I'll put it onto something larger. When it sets up, it's going to be really delicious. And you could always make your own cake mix. And if you don't have any cake flour, that's no problem. If you have all-purpose flour, for every cup of the all-purpose flour, just take out two tablespoons of it and then add in two tablespoons of cornstarch. Sift them together and guess what? You've got cake flour. All right. I really should let this set before I cut into it, but I will just so you can see. Now remember, this has to set now. Okay, you could set it in the fridge. It would cool up and firm up a lot quicker, so. But. I'll just do a little piece. And remember, it's, I used a yellow cake mix with a teaspoon of the vanilla extract, and I just followed the directions, and then I folded in a third cup of the caramel sauce. Now let's see how this tastes. That'll cure the sweet tooth. Look at how moist that cake is. Mm-hmm. Delicious. My suggestion is put it on a larger platter and I would actually let it set up good and firm. All right. And that's it. And then get a Samoya's Bunt Cake. All right, everybody. You take care. And God bless. Stay safe. Bye-bye.